haven't made a video in a while. This is the dagger, new shooting style. That I wanted to show y'all. We're gonna aim for the middle of this paper with the canic. I got that coming up next. But this was the work on the lower section with the dagger. Been doing some recoil control by holding this group here, having the finger on that group. You know what I'm saying? Thumb on the gas pedal, other hand, other hand helping me secure that gas pedal, mitigating that recoil. Um, new trigger coming for this, but this is what I'm able to do with stop trigger. Uh, a lot of these are close in that six inch group range. Um, one bullseye, as you can see. Yeah, don't don't be stepping in that yard. I got some real close ones, but still hitting your center mass. Is that that's the point I'm driving home right here? All right, first mag of twenty with the can. And this may be me, the shooter, but as you can see, how all this shot placement is aiming in that line. So however I'm holding the gun has got me a little off. So what I started to do was aim a little, a little bit more. Just be shooting that Mosin knot, that big one. But um, I was able to get three two in the bullseye section, one on this bottom left corner, four on the, the actual six inch group. So that's 20% out of a 20 round mag hitting right on target, but still <laughs> should deliver inside that center mass, driving the point home again. One thing I like about the Canic is its shootability, but it did not lock back on the second mag. <laughs> Sheer difference on this mag. <laughs> Several more bullseyes on this mag. We only had four on it before. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we doubled our output, but we now have two direct center inside the bullseye. All the rest of the shots kind of curved around here. Kind of curved around here. So those are near misses, but still hitting your heart, your center mass, driving the point home. I got a little cousin who's in the military. He's like, if your groups are not quarter inch, motherfucker, you're gonna die. Well, we're getting them bitches in. Sending it out. Next is the NACO. The NACO. Well, with the NAC on the third round, <laughs> We had a bit of a malfunction-y. Um, it almost chomped this one. And I'm glad I was able to catch it because the trigger didn't go. These are my favorite targets. Gotta love your Magpul drums. And this is another video to show why people rather use the stick mags. Um, the drums are cool looking. I'll let y'all know that right now. The drums are awesome. They look great. Don't, don't die behind that fight. shit. And I hate to make that video about that one malfunction, that one malfunction, because it ran flawless. I wanna show y'all how. So the bottom was the dagger, the middle was the Canic SFT Pro. Top, you can tell, is the drape. I put a smiley face on this motherfucker from 50 feet away. A fucking smiley face. We got one, two, three, four, five. That's a double here, six and seven. in that six inch group. But a fucking smiley face. I'm chopping your head off. Look. Motherfucker. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe.